everyone Moshe the electric Israeli is here thank you for joining my channel if you're new please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time thank you to all of my supporters and uh, this is kind of my annual uh, video I do it winter time sometimes I do it twice a year uh, it's about a uh, driving electric car in the winter it's true to my Tesla but it's true to everybody else and uh, the challenges of driving an electric car now all electric cars that are done nowadays have at least 200 plus miles the Bolt the um, Nissan Leaf the Hyundai Kona, Kona and, and on and on and of course the Tesla Model 3 and all of them they have tremendous range my Tesla has 300 miles plus so having 220 240 250 300 miles makes life easier in terms of winter driving because the heat that a electric car gets in the winter in terms of range is significant not small it's significant and I'm talking about 10 to 40 percent sometime in extreme weather even 50 percent drop in range now why am I saying that is because if you want to use your car uh, your electric car as you would use your old gasoline car that I know you don't own anymore because it's stupid uh, if you want to use it as is meaning uh, speeds uh, climate control uh, weight uh, carrying dragging uh, towing whatever it is that you use you know that your miles per gallon will be significantly uh, less than what it is in the summertime in, in which are optimal conditions so so you know that weather is number one uh, factor in reduced range in electric cars speed number two all right wind headwinds number three uh, weight how many people you have in the car in in your luggage and your load whatever it is that inside the car the weight that you are carrying uh, towing of course if you tow something uh, I don't know a u-haul or something and the worst one of all the worst is if you put something on your roof like a tuli box or something like that that takes tremendous amount of range of your uh, of your car so what I suggest to you so this is the bad news uh, this is what you can do always 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 in my opinion always always preheat your car while while it's plugged in but when I say pre preheat it give it like good 15 to 20 minutes by the way I can tell you that the Nissan Leaf still by far the best car that heats Heats the quickest it's really great uh, because of the uh, uh, heat pump uh, but heat it no matter what car this is good for everybody no what heat it when it's plugged and give it good time let the battery warm up uh, in a Tesla for example if you don't warm up the battery you see that you'll get a sticker in the winter that uh, the battery is cold as like a little snowflake and the regenerative braking is not as uh, useful as it would be when the car is fully warm you see those dots it's not ready to go so you want to give it 15 to 20 minutes I highly recommend 20 minutes you can use your app whatever it is that you use to give your car a nice warm-up while it's plugged in it's good for the battery it's good it's good for that try to avoid dragging anything on the roof if you must you must if you drag something know that you will lose at least 30 percent so if you're if just give my Tesla if you have a, a if you charge it to 300 miles you will get 200 real real uh, world miles you will lose a hundred miles a third of the of the predicted range and that's because of the drag the speed and the weather but dragging is a killer okay so do that so then if you must do that if you have four or five people in your car and you have something on your roof and whatever then fully charge your car or 95 percent and watch your speeds try to make it to your next charging station if you're in the test it will tell you what to do but if you want to drive comfortably uh, and you must drag all of this uh, 65 70 is good in order for you to make good timing for your next destination if you are a person who takes long trips like I do if it's just here and there then it's no big deal uh, if you have a big battery uh, then it's fine you'll be fine that's the beauty of big batteries that is the beauty of big batteries big batteries now uh, the, cli the climate control the heat in the car 
if you use your uh, uh, seat warmers and all that and you're comfortable then if you turn the heat off that can be a big uh, contributor to um, a, a best uh, a range best real world range so these are some of the tips I can give you if you have more questions put it down because it's one of my favorite topics I say always my motto is go for the biggest battery that you can afford I would give up autopilot for uh, uh, the biggest battery if I had to choose between bigger battery bigger range and autopilot I'll use bigger range because it's so important it gives you the freedom to drive normally highway speeds climate control weight and all that and you still have a lot of buffer that's my point okay guys thank you for watching hopefully this was helpful for you give me a thumbs up see you tomorrow